Hello everybody, my name is JBM Travels, the true UK traveller and welcome to Doncaster Station, yes. I start part two of day five at Doncaster Station because I've arrived here and I didn't record on the first train. I just wanted a break for about 40 minutes, yes. And I have now arrived at the second stop, yes, and the third, no, the first stop, sorry, which is obviously Doncaster, and the second stop is York, then Middlesbrough, then Sunderland, to Newcastle, then finally Whitley Bay, around about half nine, ten o'clock, probably, maybe a bit later than that, we shall find out, I will tell you later on. So, the plan now is to go get on this train as it has now arrived, or it is now arriving, yes. But first I'm going to show you the station very quickly. Here is the station sign. The train. The other platforms over here, yes. I am on the train to York Station where this train terminates and we will shortly be arriving there in a second. Well, a few minutes to be precise, yes. And now I get in at 28 minutes past, which is in five minutes transfer to the 39 minutes past train that's past that's 1739 to Middleborough and I get in at Middleborough at 831 then I have to go to the app where I get into If it will load Middlesbrough 1931 to 2029. So, yeah, so I've got just under an hour. 1835 at Middlesbrough is when the train arrives. So I've got just under an hour at Middlesbrough. Yes, that's the plan. Well, that's the train plan well the trip and then I have to get that from there to Whitley Bay yes so I will see you when I get to middle York sorry I had to think there for a second yes I will I have now arrived in Middlesbrough and unfortunately my next connection to Sunderland has been cancelled yes that's the seven that's the 1931 service to Sunderland which is cancelled and the next direct service the next fastest service is 2031 yes basically two hours I have so I thought I would explore the town centre while I have a chance yes gonna go under the bridge and find somewhere to eat I gather well I guess Yes, as I am here for two hours. I'm now at the beginning of this high street and here goes finding somewhere to eat. Yes. I don't know where I'm going to go, just going to walk around and see what is what. The kebab only cost £4.50 with chips, which is a bargain. Yes, it was very nice, it was very filling. You get a lot for your money. Yes, you do indeed. So, I say the kebab had loads of flavour. The chips were one of the best I've ever had. I would give it a 7.9 out of 10. Yes, I would. 
That is the rating I will give it. And now the time is to 10 past 8 and it is time to go and get on the train soon. So I'm going to head towards the train station where I will see you all. There is a bridge right there and I think I'm going straight ahead to the train station. Yes. Looks like they're doing some works or they've... Yes, it looks like they're doing some works and they've closed it off here. Yes, indeed. That's what it looks like right now at the station in Middlesbrough. There is the Middlesbrough train station sign. Yes, indeed. So I am going under another bridge and I will see you on the other side. The police station is right down there. Local office is right down there. Police station, police office, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it. I am now in the station and my train is on platform one. I believe, wait for it to change again. Platform one on time, yes. which is this way. And yes, I'm inside the station. L-N-E-R. Transpine Express. Transpine Express. Steps to platform one. right here I am on the train to Sunderland and yes this one was on time like I said before and I don't know what time I should arrive there but I shall be there soon, hopefully. So I'll see you at Sunderland Station before I change. I am currently at Monument Station and I am not at the one in London. I'm at the one in Newcastle, yes. And I'm going all the way to Whitley Bay. Not even on here. Yep. Not even... Oh yes it is, it is on there, my mistake. The station I'm currently at is Monument and I'm going all the way to Whitley Bay there which is 14 stations. It's the 14th station stop. All the way down there. The next station is Whitley Bay where this train terminates and where I'll be getting off. So I will see you outside the train. I've made it to Whitley Bay and I'm walking to the hotel which is about five minutes. The hotel is called the Windsor Hotel and yes, it's a three star hotel. Yep. So I'm gonna walk all the way there, check in and see you in the room. This journey took eight hours and 20 minutes. That is four hours, 15 minutes longer than it should have taken. That is more than double the time. That is approximately 15 minutes more than double the time. So it is approximately four hours and 15 minutes longer than it should have taken. Yes, because once again, it should have only taken four hours and five minutes. I have now checked into the hotel and I'm in the room. And yeah, I'm surprised by the room. That review will be coming very soon. I don't know if it's tomorrow or the day after. Yes, it will be coming very soon. 
There it is. However, a place across the road, I might check it out. I don't know yet. I might just go take a look. Yes, it is a nightclub. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And before I end this video, actually, I would like to say that that was a journey and a half. Whoa, that was probably longer because the cancellation to, yeah, the cancellation at Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough, yep. So I had to wait for the next train to Sunderland, which was an hour after, and probably not knowing where to go when I got to Sunderland. Yes. But I finally made it to Whitley Bay and the hotel. Yes, and I'm loving every bit of it. Gonna go check out across the road, actually. Yes, I am. So, yes, like I was saying before, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video, whenever that is. Bye for now. Bye.